Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering mechanics and today we'll continue with our discussion on centroid calculation. So this is the next problem. Now you can clearly see that we had a rectangle you can say okay and a right angle triangle and also a semicircle has been subtracted from that rectangle essentially. So basically here is the approach rectangle let's say is 1 okay you have to subtract a semicircle and you also need to subtract a right angled well triangle you can say all right so um, a rectangle minus a semicircle and also uh, a right angled triangle now the first thing that i'm going to do is let me mark this over here one semicircle let's say is marked by two and the triangle let's say is marked by three okay first thing is to calculate the area now area calculation is pretty simple a1 is equal to how much area of rectangle that is 200 by this is 200 40 plus 120 is 160 160 plus 40 is 200 200 cross 200 will give you 200 cross 200 will give you the rectangles area so 4 followed by 4 zeros done a2 what about a2 a2 essentially is the area of this semicircle so if you watch carefully this is the radius from here till you reach here okay that's the radius how much is it it's half of diameter diameter is 120 so the radius is 60 so it's going to be pi r square pi times of 60 square will divided by 2 okay and that should probably work out as 5654.87 5654.87 5, Okay, let me check this 5654.87 done and next we have the area of the triangle well area of the triangle is half of base into height so half of base how much is the base if you watch carefully this much this much distance okay so that's 200 minus 120 that's 80 base is 80 what about this height okay now this distance has got to be this has to be 120 why let me tell you if you watch carefully this is how much that's 200 200 minus 80 is obviously going to be equal to 120 so this essentially can be referred to as the height of the triangle okay and this is the base of the triangle so base is 80 and height is 120 so just do this multiplication and it should finally um, work out as let me check how much it is 4800 four eight double zero centimeter square obviously now what we need to do is we need to find the x coordinates individually for all the three geometrical shapes and for that first of all i would like to take a coordinate axis let's make it this way okay now let, let me fine tune this 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 is looking proper that's looking proper okay so this is essentially the y-axis and this is the corresponding x-axis the first thing is let us let's just get the values values of x coordinate for a rectangle okay that's one let's say this is c1 so this over here this distance is nothing but x1 right and this distance is nothing but y1 and this is pretty simple x1 is half of 200 that is 100 write it over here and y1 is nothing but half of this how much is this from here to here it's 200 so half of 200 is obviously 100 let me check this so 100 comma 100 done next next thing that we need to do is to work out this semicircle now guys if you watch this this over here is 4 r upon 3 pi so this is essentially the centroid of the semicircle okay so 4 r upon 3 pi so i don't know what the value of r is oh i do know so diameter is 120 so r r can be taken as 60 you need to put 60 over here so that you can get this value but essentially what i am interested in is this let me show you that's exactly what i am interested in this is x2 and x2 guys can be written as if you watch carefully 
x2 is equal to this 200 minus this 4 r upon 3 pi x2 is equal to 200 minus 4 r upon 3 pi so r is how much it's 60 upon 3 pi you just put this value in a calculator and finally you can get the value of x2 which is equal to 175.5 175.5 well the y value is pretty simple okay y1 just like y1 it's also y2 both of them are pretty much same and y2 will be also equal to y1 okay and again this is going to be equal to 200 in totality from here to here it's 200 so half of 200 will be 100 so this is also pretty simple no problems now let's talk about this let's talk about this right angle triangle okay you always have to locate its centroid in this manner let me zoom okay so height is how much 120 then this has to be 120 divided by 3 b h by 3 which is going to be equal to 3 times of 4 is 12 40 this distance this is well that's y c and this over here is x c is equal to b by 3 how much is b it's 80 so 80 over 3 i don't know what 80 over 3 is put that value in a calculator and this will be equal to 26.67 okay so this is centroid c3 you can see let me zoom out now this is y3 oh man this line this is y3 and y3 is equal to how much from here to here that's 200 minus this 40 so 200 minus 40 will give you the value of y3 okay 200 minus 40 will give you the value of y3 we write it over here y3 is equal to 200 minus 40 and this is actually equal to how much it's pretty simple that's 160 done now what what about x3 x3 is nothing but this that's x3 and x3 is something which we have already calculated that is this 26.67 okay so that's x3 so let, let's write this over here how much 26.67 okay 26.67 let me put it up over here 26.67 okay now the trick is xc will be equal to a1 x1 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus a2 x2 minus a3 x3 whole divided by area 1 minus area 2 minus area 3 so this is exactly how you can get the value of this x c and y c simply you have to replace x by y's and this is what you're going to get a1 y1 minus a2 y2 minus a3 y3 whole divided by a1 minus a2 minus a3 and when you put all these values from these tables into this equation the value of x c finally obtained will be equal to 97 0.28 centimeters and the value of yc finally obtained will be equal to 90.25 centimeters precisely so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below and if you like the video hit the like button share the video amongst your friends so that they can also benefit and needless to say i'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics until then it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day. Keep learning and thank you.